Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to talk to you about uh, management of attention deficit disorder or minor cognitive impairment and are there any alternatives to Adderall and Ritalin and the associated other drugs like that. And there is, quite frankly. Now, <clears throat> when you look at uh, both ADD and uh, MCI, minor cognitive impairment, what you see fundamentally from an autonomic standpoint is uh, they have damage that results in low blood pressure of the brain, okay? And so what happens then is when you breathe, you know, red cells fill up with oxygen, you gotta push them up for the right pressure for the oxygen to flow into your neurons, and that's not happening correctly, okay? The neurons only have one second of spare oxygen up there, they don't get enough fuel, they just don't function right, and you're like, not very sharp, okay? now. Uh, and you may notice this, like if occasionally you stand up and you're like, whoa, you get a little moment there, okay? Uh, we call that orthostasis or orthostatic intolerance. That's because your body, when you're standing up, your body's having to increase pressure against gravity as relative to when you're flat. So when you're standing up, it's got to boost that pressure. And if it's not just perfect, you feel that transient little dip in oxygen. Now it doesn't go away, you have that all day long, it's just not quite so noticeable when you're standing up or if you're standing still, that'll do it too because the blood will pool in your muscles of your legs. So uh, you have this low pressure problem up there. Now, Ritalin, Adderall, these drugs, they do two things. One, they, and their most important thing they do is they boost blood pressure in your head. Okay, that's one of the ways they stimulate your nervous system is they boost blood pressure in your head. The other way they stimulate your nervous system is these drugs, are, the molecules are small enough they can get in the brain and they stimulate the brain directly like a cup of nuclear coffee. Okay, so you get boosting pressure and the stimulating effect and it's the part that gets in the brain that people don't like. Okay, it, when you get a side effect, it makes you buzzy, it don't feel good. It's also the part that suppresses your appetite. It's also the part that can cause uh, addiction to these drugs, all right? So, what's an alternative? If somebody has autonomic dysfunction and they got low blood pressure in their head, we have for many, many years used a drug called Midodrin. M-I-D-O-D-R-I-N-E, Midodrin. And Midodrin is like Adderall and Ritalin in that it boosts blood pressure to your head. They're the same class of drug. They're called sympathomimetics, okay? It boosts blood pressure to your head. But the difference is, midodrin, the molecule is too large. It cannot get in the brain and stimulate the brain, okay? And so because of that, you don't have hunger suppression, you don't have addictive problems, it's a safer drug to use, it's still pretty effective, and it's it's much better tolerated if you have trouble with Adderall and Ritalin, those kind of drugs. Now, say that's not enough. Well, the other thing we use is a drug called fludrocortisone, or Florinef, F-L-O-R-I-N-E-F. And what Florinef does is it kind of tricks your kidneys to hold on to salt water, because salt water boosts your blood pressure too. So very often, you can use Metadrin or Florinef you know, individually or combined to boost blood pressure in people. Sometimes the Florinef might cause a little ankle swelling in an occasional patient. They don't like that. Uh, and the, the Florinef, you really need to be supplementing with salt if you're doing that, okay? Uh, getting extra salt in to boost your pressure. So that combination, Midogen and Florinef, have been used for, I don't know, 30 years or more to boost pressure in people with autonomic dysfunction. And, and remember, autonomic dysfunction doesn't have to be some fancy disease. It can happen from a concussion. It can happen from COVID. It can happen from an emotional trauma. And the whole thing is if, if you have too much inflammation, you don't recover. And then you're stuck with it, okay? So Midodrin or Midodrin or Florinef are two of my go-to regimens, non-addictive, minimal side effects, pretty much get the job done. And uh, then, of course, we would put people on the Nimichek protocol of high DHA fish oil, olive oil, balancing the gut with rifaximin, and the use of a vagus nerve stimulator to lower inflammation, to get this blood pressure thing to recover. Your brain can fix itself, 
and then we eventually are off the midodrine and off the floor now. Okay, so that's kind of my approach. I, uh, it's not one you hear much, but it's a very well tried one over several decades. So, uh, especially with Adderall shortage, that may be the way to go. Okay, everybody have a good weekend. Take care now.